Hi, I'm Brigida. I'm Margaret. And I'm Drew. And we're your Youth and Park Rangers. We're going to be taking you to all the national parks in the state of New Mexico. And today we're headed to... Bandelier National Monument. Frijoles Canyon, where the Trail and Visitor Center is located, has long been a home for the ancestral Puebloan people. The creek running through the canyon sustains life throughout the region and served as a reliable water source for the Puebloans used to inhabit the region. The entire canyon is full of evidence of earlier lifestyles. This area is remarkable in that it contains relics of hunter and gatherer societies roving through the area in addition to smaller housing units and large pueblos. It's amazing that this one area experienced the transition from nomadic lifestyles to living in a Pueblo community. Behind me are the Pueblo ruins of Kiwani, and as you can see, the trail takes visitors through the ruins, and visitors have a chance to walk through the ruins and observe the ruins up close before making their way up to the cliff houses that are part of Bandelier National Monument. My favorite part here at Bandelier National Monument are these caves that you can walk in. Along the main loop trail, you can climb into the caves that were originally dug out of the cliff wall. The cliff wall is made of tuff, a light porous rock formed by volcanic ash. The ceilings of these cavates were plastered or painted on by the ancestral Puebloans who lived there. In order to make the tuff less crumbly, the ceilings were smoke blackened. The caves are facing south in order to maximize the amount of sunlight for heat during the winter. Small fires may have also been used inside. Chimneys were dug in the top of the cave so the smoke could escape. Most cavates had small masonry buildings constructed in front of them. Make sure that you appreciate the caves because they were once somebody's home. Farther along the trail, visitors have the opportunity to walk past Longhouse, which is another set of cliff dwellings. What separates Longhouse from the other cliff dwellings is that the ancestral Puebloans built rooms against the base of the cliff wall with openings leading into the cliff. You can gauge how tall Longhouse used to be by looking at the beam holes chiseled into the cliff face. Looking at the ruins makes me wonder how Longhouse used to look with people going about their daily lives. Here, at the end of the trail that originates at the Visitor Center, you get the opportunity to climb up 140 feet of ladders to get to the alcove house. To reach the alcove house, you must climb a series of four ladders and a few stretches of stairs. The views from along the trail are beautiful, and the feeling of climbing the ladders is a truly unique experience. The alcove house, formerly known as Ceremonial Cave, is 140 feet above Frijoles Canyon floor, and archaeologists believe it was once home to approximately 25 people. Imagine climbing these ladders carrying supplies necessary to live in this fascinating place. It's interesting to question why this alcove was chosen for inhabitants, what it was used for, who was allowed access to it, and how many other alcoves like it there are throughout the park. Once at the top of the trail, you get the opportunity to see the ceremonial chamber. You are allowed to go down into a roughly recreated chamber and experience a place fairly similar to what ancient Puebloans experienced so many years ago. Excavated in 1908, the chamber held perfectly preserved matting, red corn, and other materials, which signified that this was a sacred place for the peoples who inhabited this canyon. Imagine living in this amazing room. It's interesting to imagine why such a location was chosen to hold these inhabitants and structures. Was it for safety and defense purposes? Was it for the spectacular views? Was it because water used to flow near this area? Maybe the reason is one we may never understand. If you're up for the climb, I strongly recommend the hike, as I think the Alcove House is one of the coolest attractions at Bandelier National Monument. From walking through ruins to climbing through caves, we had a lot of fun at Bandelier National Monument. We hope to see you here soon!